Tonight, former college basketball player turned coach in the DMV, now facing one of his toughest challenges yet. Patrick Behan was diagnosed with ALS four months ago. Jacqueline Matter is more on his journey ahead. The DMV native loves basketball, so much so he's been the head coach of the boys' basketball team here at St. John's College High School for six years. He says despite 10 people in his family having ALS, he won't let this diagnosis stand in the way of his passion. As a coach, Patrick Behan always has a game plan, even when it comes to his newest opponent, ALS. Pretty much had to go right on the attack and, and start fighting it, you know, contact the best doctors and the best people that I could to try to get the process going in terms of doing anything I can to combat it. For the 6'8 former college basketball power forward that went on to play overseas, the symptoms started to worsen in March. And that's when it really hit hard. And, um, you know, just came to reality. He was diagnosed with the disease in May at 34 years old. Just overall general weakness, um, not being able to perform, you know, simple tasks, you know, opening bags or, you know, completing a push up and, you know, elevating my arms fully. So While the diagnosis was devastating for Pat, it wasn't entirely a surprise. He's one of 10 people in his family to have been diagnosed with ALS. I knew that you know, it was it was hereditary and that, you know, familial ALS is, is a real thing and that there was a chance that I might have it, but obviously you just, you never think you're going to be the one at a younger age. The neurodegenerative disease has no cure. Knowing that his life would soon change tremendously, Pat decided to share the news with his team. And that was that was hard. You know, that one hit me just seeing everybody's face and they didn't know what the meeting was about. He exhibited a tremendous amount of strength to look at his team and, and share that information. And there was a lot of emotion. It was heartbreaking. We were all crying together. It's just, it just like, you just never know what people are going through. Everything we do is for Coach. Um, it makes us appreciate all the times we have together now and definitely makes us want to work harder. Coach Pat says now he has his own team full of supporters rooting for him to take home a win. He means a lot to this to this team and to this community. And yeah, I don't know what the journey looks like. Um, and he's very early in his treatments, but here we go, balls in, let's go. He knows that he's not going to walk this alone. Good pass, Jeezy. While Patton doesn't know what the future will hold or what his body will allow him to do, big shot. One thing is for certain: he will continue to coach the team and sport that he loves. There's still really hard moments, really tough days, but. Just overall, my outlook on like, okay, how can I, you know, make an impact for the hours that I'm, I'm spending here? It's 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 what I love to do, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful to still be able to do it. Cadets. A fundraiser is being held on September 17th to help Coach Pat fight this disease. We have those details for you over on our website, fox5dc.com. Back to you.